Welcome to Thrifty Garage. My name is Carson, and in today's video, we're going to replace this tire on this wheelbarrow. This tire has a number of things wrong with it. First of all, it's flat. It got a puncture, and despite the fact that it had slime in it, uh, it went flat. And second of all, it also has a dent in the rim. And uh, for those two reasons, we're going to replace this instead of putting a new tube in it. So I picked up this replacement flat-free tire from Lowe's. This was a little over $40. Uh, it's not the least expensive one they've got, but it is flat-free. And I'm finding more and more that uh, it makes more sense to do the flat-free tires. One nice thing with this replacement tire is it also comes with the grease fitting on it, uh, which is really nice, as well as all the different adapters that are necessary to hook it up. Changing out a wheelbarrow tire is a relatively easy process, um, especially with the fact that this has brand new hardware in it. Um, that's going to be your biggest difficulty. If you've got an older wheelbarrow with rusty hardware, it may, may give you a tough time. I recently did a video on replacing the handles on this, so it has all new hardware, so this job should be really easy. First, we're going to loosen up these carriage bolts. I can take these out. And that allows us to slide off this retainer and we can pull the whole shaft and everything off and lift the tire out. My shaft is bent, which is unfortunate. Um, probably gonna have to try and bend that back into place because um, I don't have a replacement one. Yeah, let's see if we can't straighten this out. Now I'll clean off this old shaft. Wasn't too bad. This comes with several different adapters. We can make it fit however we need. What I'm gonna do is slide it all the way to one side. See how many of these adapters we're gonna need. This will work out about perfect. We'll do two fat and two skinny, so we'll do uh, one fat and one skinny on each side. Now we can put our carriage bolts back in and uh, bolt it back together. Add some grease to this new wheel. These bearings will really make this nice to push around. A few pumps should be good. Now we've got a nearly new wheelbarrow with uh, new handles, new tire. Uh, should be good for uh, years to come or uh, at least months to come. Hopefully, nothing else breaks on this one. I'll be doing a future video on old versus new, fixing up wheelbarrows versus buying new wheelbarrows. So stick around, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in that. Uh, please check out our videos. And uh, thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. Please like, comment, and subscribe. The end.